This looks delicious. <laughs> yeah, boy. In this video, we're going to be making some homemade toothpaste. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go through the ingredients that I'm going to use uh, really quickly. This is bentonite clay, xylitol, coconut oil, sodium bicarbonate, and vanilla extract. I also have some food colouring here as well. So why do we use these different things? Well, bentonite clay, <clears throat> it's a really fine polish. It's a really fine particle. So it'll give a nice polish on the teeth. Coconut oil, we've probably all heard before with, with teeth, uh, with things like oil pulling. Um, but that's not really shown to have any major effect on the teeth. Coconut oil itself does have some antimicrobial properties, so we can use that for in our toothpaste for that. The sodium bicarbonate is a base, it's alkaline, so it'll help neutralize any acids that are that are in our mouth. The xylitol and the vanilla extract are really just for, for flavor. So let's make it. So unfortunately my audio for this part of the video didn't turn out too well, so I'm just gonna do this as a voiceover and you can watch me make some awkward hand gestures as well. So the first thing that I did was that I got the bentonite powder. I I don't actually remember how much I put it. I think it was maybe one of these big wooden spoons and maybe a little bit more. Um, just to make sure we have enough because this kind of is the, the base for the for the whole thing then you just kind of make like a little well and that's where you can start to put your other ingredients inside of then to make this kind of combine together so i used vanilla extract in this um normally toothpaste have like a mint flavor but whenever i went to the shop i couldn't get any um so i just got vanilla instead then we're putting in the sodium bicarbonate now you don't need that much of this um i put about maybe about half a scoop of a tablespoon maybe even a little bit less than that and uh to this and then i'm putting the coconut oil in here and so uh, coconut oil kind of comes as a solid but i thought it might be easier to, or help me mix this together if i if i make it more into a liquid so i just put it in the microwave for about 20 or 25 seconds and it came out came out really really well then um, and it just it'll help everything kind of combine together. I might talk about the coconut oil pulling in a in a different video then. And then I use a wooden spoon just to kind of mix this all together. Uh, this does take a bit of time, and it, yeah, it, there's a bit of effort. And you can see I'm adding just a little bit of water there as well. You can just keep going until you kind of get to like a, a paste kind of that you're that you're happy with then. Um, I don't know why, but I decided that I wanted to make this green, even though I had a green cutting board or mixing board so yeah I put some green on it just to make it look a little bit less muddy um, and we mix that together then and we keep going I decided then that I wanted to add in the xylitol just for the sweetness xylitol is actually good for this as well because it, it, it will act like an abrasive um, in, in toothpaste to help whiten the teeth and it's, it's a nice flavor as well okay so we've made our toothpaste now we have to try it so this is this is what we got. Um, it actually smells quite nice. It does. It smells coconutty. I don't get much of the vanilla, but let's try it and see. Big chunk. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna brush. It's it's very gritty. I think that's the xylitol. They're very green. <laughs> it actually doesn't taste too bad. It's very gritty, and I think that's the xylitol. It's coming through because it is very granulated. Um, not getting a huge amount of the vanilla. I think that's kind of being overwhelmed by the coconut. But I think that's a success. I wish I brought a diff I bought a different toothbrush because now I can't really use that one again. But oh well.